Hey guys, Coach Adrian here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do what's called diaphragmatic or belly breathing. So for this form of breathing, what you're gonna notice is I'm gonna have one hand on my belly, one hand on my chest, and this is to give you some feedback as to where your breath is coming from. So the focus of this exercise is you want your belly to expand first when you take your breath in and then have your chest follow thereafter. So many people take very short, uh, choppy, shallow breaths only through their chest rather than accessing uh, the full lung all the way down by expanding the belly first and then letting the chest rise afterwards. So that's the main focus of this breathing exercise is to teach you how to control that breath and really get a deeper and fuller breath. So I'm going to do 10 breath cycles. Okay, one breath cycle is an inhale plus an exhale. And I'm gonna go at about a four count on the inhale and a four count on the exhale. So you're more than welcome to follow along with me as I do this, or you could just watch first and see how my belly rises first and then the chest expands. And then when I exhale, everything comes down together. And there's no pause at the top or the bottom of the breath. I'm simply breathing in for four seconds and then out for four seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my starting position. And this is a position that I'm gonna be in for the entirety of the exercise. So I'm gonna have my feet flat on the floor, butt on the floor, lay back, knees stay bent. And then I'm gonna place one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest, and I'll go ahead and take you through 10 breath cycles here. Alright, so that concludes my 10 breath cycles. Um, about four seconds in and four seconds out. So there's a couple different ways you could breathe when you're doing it. You can either keep your mouth closed the whole time and just breathe in and out through your nose, or you can inhale through your nose and then out through your mouth. If you exhale out through your mouth, just try to keep your lips a little bit more close together because if you let your your mouth just drop open the air can rush out a lot faster and then you won't really um, it you won't really prolong that exhale like you want to okay so uh, go ahead and give this one a try and thank you for watching